public attitudes have changed a lot in the past decade. They'll run into anti-fascist protesters and that's where the trouble could start. In just a short time, this event has become one of the most popular festivals on the calendar. Darwin. Alice Springs. Rockhampton. Brisbane. Sydney. Canberra. Melbourne. Adelaide. Hobart. Reporting for ABC News 24. Hello, I'm Marianne Mashiri of BBC World News. Our top stories. Police in Hong Kong use tear gas to try to disperse pro-democracy activists, but the protests are continuing despite warnings from the authorities. Hello and welcome to the programme. Hong Kong police have used tear gas and pepper spray to try to disperse crowds of pro-democracy activists staging a sit-in in the city centre. The demonstrators have defied calls by the authorities for them to end what they describe as an unlawful gathering. The student leaders have now called on protesters to withdraw over fears police could begin using rubber bullets. The protesters want Hong Kong's electorate to be allowed to freely choose candidates for its next leader in 2017. Tensions began to escalate last month after Beijing rejected demands for people to freely choose the next leader. Well, Hong Kong's central and now Admiralty District have become the main focus of these demonstrations. The police have set up a security cordon around the district where the central government offices are located. Protesters are staging a sit-in inside the cordon but a larger crowd of protesters has been gathering outside the cordon too. That's where police fired the tear gas. Well, the BBC's Juliana Liu is in Hong Kong, inside that cordoned area. She joins me now on the line. And Juliana, what's the latest from where you are? Uh, well, as you say, the organisers uh, of this demonstration, the Hong Kong Federation of Students and Occupy Central, have urged uh, their supporters who are still roaming the streets to withdraw because of... Uh, of, uh, of reports that they had received, they believe credible reports that police uh, were prepared to use rubber bullets uh, against protesters. Now, this is uh, something that's been unconfirmed. The police have not confirmed uh, this is a tactic that they will employ. But as you say, they have locked down an enormous area uh, around the government complex, and that's that's where we are at the moment. So, uh, any members of the general public found to be wandering around these areas are subject to arrest and prosecution. Uh, so obviously it's escalating uh, their, their uh, dealings with protesters uh, have been uh, escalated. Now, uh, that said, we've also uh, been seeing that groups of protesters are also marching west toward Causeway Bay and clashing with police along the way as well. So plenty still happening where you are. What have the authorities in Hong Kong been saying this evening about what's been happening and the reasoning behind the use of tear gas? Uh, well, the city's top officials uh, held a press conference uh, just about half an hour uh, before the first round of tear gas was fired. The chief executive spoke, as well as his deputy, as well as the police commissioner. They all said that this uh, demonstration is an unlawful gathering. They had, throughout the day, asked people to leave. Uh, they uh, also reiterated the fact that they believe they've been engaging the public all this time over the future of democratic reforms. Uh, we've also heard from the Chinese government in Beijing, who strongly condemned uh, this movement, of course, in very strong words. So that's been the official uh, reaction. Now, the organizers of the demonstration uh, say that it's not over yet. They're urging their supporters to withdraw, but they're saying uh, it's important to protect yourselves to come back to fight another day. OK, Juliana, good to speak to you. Thank you very much for that update. Well, Professor Chan Kin Man is one of the Occupy Central Movement's organisers. I asked him why he thought Hong Kong police had used tear gas and pepper spray on protesters. The protest is peaceful, but I, I, I believe that the government uh, is very deplorable. They use the excessive violence to control the cloud, and I guess they are, have not, well, we haven't experienced tear gas for years, even for decades, but now today the government used tear gas, tried to disperse the cloud, and, uh, the cloud, and uh, we think that it is totally unacceptable, totally unnecessary. Uh, it is a, we, we have very great regret that the government 
you're so afraid of people and use such an unreasonable means. And Professor Chan, Professor Chan Kim Man, yes. what's the end game here? What do the protesters want and how far are they willing to go to get it? They, they want the government, uh, particularly the police, to release the student leaders who were arrested a couple of days ago. They also want the government to uh, we uh, start uh, or start over again uh, the uh, political reform because Beijing at the end, I mean at the end of uh, August, gave Hong Kong people a fit democracy, and they want to start over again the whole uh, constitutional reform process.